What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are looking at multiplication and we're going to look at something called grid method. So let's jump into it. So the steps that we're going to put in place when using grid method is to partition our numbers and then solve each section. But what does that mean? And what even is grid method? Well, grid method is a nice way of breaking up big numbers into more manageable chunks so that we can do big multiplications like our example here, 324 times 5. So at the moment, my 324 looks pretty horrible. It's huge. So I want to break it down. So I'm going to partition this number first and then use those parts to do my calculation. So I should know that my 324 is made up of a 300, a 20, and a 4. These are my partitioned chunks of this number. So how does this work with grid method? Well, first we must draw a grid. And a little tactic to know how many lines to draw, we have a three-digit number multiplied by one digit. So I need to draw three lines and one line. That's how I can know how many lines to draw for my grid. And we are doing multiplication. So in this top left, I'm going to put the multiplication sign. And now, at the top, I'm going to use these three zones, one, two, and three, to put my new partitioned number. So 324 actually looks like 320 and 4. And then on the other side, the 5 is just on its own, so I'll put 5 down here. Now let's just tidy that up. There we go, that looks a little bit better. But essentially what we can see is at the top here, this zone here, this is my 324, and down here is obviously still just my 5. Okay, so I've split my 324, but does that really help me? Because I can still see a huge number here in the 300. But 300 actually has two happy numbers. And I call them happy numbers because we can draw little happy smiley faces in the zeros. And a happy number works in a really special way. We can just ignore it for a moment. So I'm going to ignore this zero and this zero. And just do the question 5 multiplied by 3. Well, we still need to understand how this grid works. This square here, this is the result, the product, of the multiplication of 300 times 5. This second square would be the product, the answer, of 20 times 5. And this last one would be the answer, the product, of 4 times 5. So therefore, this first box is 300 times 5. The second box is 20 times 5. And the third box is 4 times 5. But that doesn't really help me yet, does it? Because look, this first question, I've got to do 300 times 5. Oh my gosh, that sounds horrible again. But there's a trick. Because 300 is actually made up of two happy numbers. These zeros here, I call happy. And I call them happy because, look, I can draw happy smiley faces in them both. And the way it works with a happy number is we can just ignore it for a moment and just look at the 3. So my actual question could be 3 times 5. And 3 times 5 I can do in my head it equals 15. But don't forget, I ignored these two happy numbers. So I must now put them back at the end of my answer. One, two. And the reason that works is I've just done five times three, but my question was five times 300, which is a hundred times larger. So I can make my answer a hundred times larger by just putting the two zeros back at the end. Okay, let's have a look at that with the second example. My second example says 20 times five, and again, I can see I have one happy number. So I can just ignore that for a moment and do 2 times 5, which equals 10. Put him in this box. And then I've got to put my happy number back. Therefore, my answer is actually 
100. And last but not least, my final box says 4 times 5. No need for any happy numbers, so I can just do 4 times 5, which is 20. And there we go. That is working out all the individual sections. But am I done? Well, no, because what I've just done is I've partitioned, I've broken all this down into small sections. Now I need to put it all back together. And the way I can put things back together or add things back together is simply using column addition. So I have 1,500, I have 100, and I have 20. They're my individual answers. So now when I add those back together, I'm going to get my grand total. Start with my smallest value, 0, 0, and 0 in the units column, 0, 0, and 2 in the tens, 5 add 1 in the hundreds column is 6, and then 1 on its own in the thousands gives me a grand total of 1,620 for my final answer, 1,620. Let's do another one super quick, 624 times 3. So remember, I'm going to partition my 624 into a 600, a 20, and a 4, and then 3 on the other side. Now I'm going to work out what each of the individual grid is answering, and I would have 600 times 3, 20 times 3, and 4 times 3. Okay, so question 1 says 600 times 3. 600 is made up of one, two happy numbers, so it's actually just 6 times 3, which is 18. Put back my two happy numbers, 1, 2. So my answer is 1,800. My second box is 20 times 3, and again I can see the happy number, so I can just do 2 times 3, which is 6, but then put back my happy number, and I get an answer of 60. And then finally, my last question says 4 times 3, which I can just do as 12. Awesome. Now remember, I partitioned my question, so now I need to put it back together. So it's 1,800 plus 60 plus 12. Look in the 1s column first of all, I have a 2. Look in the 10s column, I have a 7. Look in my 100s, I have just an 8 and a 1 in the 1,000s. My final answer, 1,872. Awesome, let's think about what to remember. First, we need to partition the number. This is how we're gonna make it easier to do the individual sections. Then we're gonna solve each individual section first, remembering that happy numbers can be forgotten temporarily and then put back at the end. Don't forget, we must always add up the individual sections to get our final answer. Your turn, have a go at answering this question. Put your answers in the comment section, I'm gonna mark every single one. Press pause on the video now, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to use grid method to work out big multiplication questions. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing to the channel. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.